Okay, so uh, we're going to go over how to get out of Kesa Katami uh, a second way. Um, so again, Kesa Katami or Scarf Hold, uh, make sure that this knee is all the way up. You need to be a good partner and hold him in a position, that way he knows he can actually get out of it. So don't, don't be relaxed. You want to get your partner in a good position so he knows that he can actually get out of this. So this one's actually kind of fun because I know Wyatt is a lot smaller than me. And this position proves that you can actually get out of someone that's a lot bigger than you and crushing you down. So the first move Wyatt's going to do is he's going to grab his grab his, his wrist back here, just like this, and he's going to hip up as hard as he can, putting trying to put my forehead to the floor. Okay, hip up, boom. See, my first reaction is to sit back because I don't want him to push me here. So what? Well, in the meantime, what he's going to do is he's going to sneak this knee in the knee as I sit back just like that. So now I'm sitting on top of his knee. So we know that his leg isn't strong enough to tip me over. Try it, Wyatt. He can't tip me over. But what he can do is post on his feet and hip underneath me. As he scoots underneath me, I begin to tip backwards. Just like that. Then he goes right to side control. 